Um, first couple of weeks back in the pre-season, how's, the, how's everything gone so far? Yeah, well, the first few days we had um, case conferencing and, and fitness testing. The lads come back in decent shape, um, and over the last couple of weeks we've just been basically working on the fitness and ironing out a few technical, um, few technical things. But it seems to be going really well, and the lads are in good spirit. So this first section is just about getting the fitness up, is it? Yeah, it's working on a few technical issues. Um, obviously, they've had four or five weeks off, so the fitness will have gone down a little bit. So JT, the SNC, has been working hard with them. He's been having them in there, been doing some sprints over the gym. So. It's a, it's a slow process up before Christmas, but uh, it's just getting a base fitness. So is it good this time period to get straight back into it, work with the, work with the lads, work on certain technical exp aspects as well? Yeah, we've um, both John Sadler, myself and I both have had individuals in work and technical, uh, revisiting a few things we worked on last year um, and just developing them. So like I said, for the last couple of weeks, it's been just ironing a few technical things out, which will keep going through the winter, but uh, we're in a good place. It's the first chance to work of Andy Carter as well. How's, how's he been going so far? He's been really, really good. He's, um, he's fitted in really well with the lads. Um, he's, enjoying the, he's enjoying a few of the technical sessions and the few group sessions. He said he's never done them before. Um, we're just looking to get him strong. Um, and I think oh, probably over the next two or three years, we might have a new Mark Footer on our hands. And I suppose it's a, it's a long pre-season, so is it important this early stage is just to set the example and just work and progress towards the season? Yeah, we've put a few disciplines in, um, just revisiting them, getting a few things um, done on paper. We've had a few um, few meetings with the lads, a batting meeting, ball meeting and spin meeting. Um, just putting a few things in place, keeping the disciplines up, um, working towards Christmas. And then after, after Christmas, uh, news back to Abu Dhabi next year, looking forward to going back there for pre-season? Yeah, Abu Dhabi's a great place. Um, we've got everything there for the lads, the facilities are good, the hotels are good. Um, the lads love going back after a training session to eat the nice a la carte food. Um, it's a great place and I'm looking forward to going there again. And as quickly as well on Mark Foot, it's England call up. Must be quite proud to know that the coaching staff here helped him uh, suppose helped him get that call up. Yeah, we're, we're, we're really happy for Mark. Um, he's done really well over the last two years. I think I've said in the press before, the SNC and the medical team have been outstanding, keeping him on the park, strengthening him in individual areas. And we, manage, we as a management team are really proud of the achievements he's made. Um, we just hope he does really well um, and wish him, wish him well for the future. And obviously we've had Andy, Andy Carter from Notts come in and Tom Mills from Warwickshire, but he's still looking to hopefully add to the squad. Are you happy with, with the squad we've got? I think we're probably looking for one more seamer. I've um, got my eye on the mark. Got it. There's a few irons in the fire. Um, so we're just looking to strengthen the seam balling department. But other than that, it's taken two years to get the squad we want. Um, and we're really, really looking forward to the season. And now the plans for the next couple of weeks, keep working on the techniques and skills? Yeah, over the next couple of weeks we've, um, we're have going to get them to do some gymnastics. Um, we're looking to send the lads to a hospice. They're going to help over the Christmas period um, with the catering, doing some bar bar work, um, some serving food and that. Because it's the same principle as we said when we came in here. We want the lads to develop as individuals, not just as cricketers. Um, and there's been some evidence of that over the last couple of years. So you take out the comfort zones a little bit there as well? Yeah, definitely. Take them out of the comfort zone, see what the real world's like. Um, we sent them to the army last year, we did a dance routine and we're just trying to mix it up a little bit this year. Um, it's a long winter and we've got to keep the lads entertained, so we've got to plan properly.